Hello, welcome to Design in Tech Hub YouTube channel and welcome to another episode of an amazing video where I will show you guys how you can create flyer design with your smartphone. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can blend in image into background and some other pixel app techniques. So in order to understand this, do want to watch the video carefully to understand the step by step process which will be taken in this video. But before diving into the video, we are in new viewer, please kindly click on the subscribe button and put on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new and amazing videos. And as for the returning viewers, thank you, I really appreciate. So in creating this flyer, we'll be using our normal app, our smartphone app design app, which is the Pixel Lab app. So as you can see this, we are, we are going to, the first thing we are going to do in creating this design is to import our background. Note, when you want to import your background on Pixel app, don't use uh, this a uh, plus icon instead use uh, these uh, three dots here importing your background using these three dots once you click on this three dot you have this drop down menu then you select use image from gallery using this uh, using this will allow you to import your background with the high standard resolution the background is so once you import your background it stay retaining its quality compared to enlarging the background so once you enlarge the background the quality will be reduced so i i, I urge you to always uh, import your background using use image from gallery so just click on that your your gallery opens up then you select your background so you can see our background has been imported so the next thing we'll be doing is to import uh, the model the model which will be used on the design that is the next uh, thing we'll be importing so just click on this plus icon then uh, select from gallery so once you do that select your model then you can enlarge it to suit your desire then place it at the center like this i think we have to close the app and reopen it so select a uh, uh, enlarge the model to your desired size so after enlarging uh, the after importing your model the next thing we'll be doing is to blend it into the background the next thing we'll be doing is to blend uh, the model into the background so to, to blend in uh, the model into our background this is what we're going to be doing you have to listen you have to be attentive here so listen attentively so to blend in uh, any image into your background just uh, move to shape Resize it to your desire, uh, to how you want it. So once you resize it like this, move to gradient. Instead of using color, you use gradient. So you just click on, uh, you select uh, this white and black, then click on the plus icon. Click on this uh, black, uh, click on this, the black here, you click on it. After clicking on it, you click on this uh, color icon. You click on that, then you slide this down. You slide this, you slide it down and click on OK. So the next thing you will do is to click on this, then click on this uh, color icon here. You click on it, then you click on the color icon. So here we'll have to click on this color selector. To select a color from our background so we'll be selecting the purple color so uh, the purple color is the color we want to use just drag it drag this in then click on okay then we'll be placing this here though we are not done but this is just how to create a video gradient so after you are uh, create this after you've created the video gradient 
make sure that video ingredient is as selected so you move to texture just a click on texture then you a click on this gallery icon you select your background then resize uh, your background just resize it to your desired uh, to switch uh, your desire how you just want it to look and then check mark then you can see you can uh, you can see this that our uh, our mode has just uh, be has just been a uh, blend into the background so you can see how we just a uh, blend this into the background so the next thing we'll be doing is to create some test the next thing we are going to be doing is to create some test so let's see Then we're going to change the font of this text. We are going to be using Monster and Semi Boot for this. Monster and Semi Boot. That is the font we are going to be using for this. So let's locate the font. So this is the particular font we are going to be using. So the next thing we are going to do is just to reduce uh, the size of the text. Then move to spacing we increase the spacing between the test reduce the size a little bit more let's place our model away then we are going to be placing our this at the center Break it down a little bit so reverse side luxury hotel will create another test which is present. Change the font. We are going to change the font for this. Uh, the font for this is Amalfi Coast. I will put in the name of the font in the video description. So we are going to make this a boat, then change the color. Reduce the size a little bit. Then bring it, we are going to bring it below. We are going to bring the test below here. Make sure it is at the center. So just like that so the next thing we're going to do is to create another test which is ladies click on ok so we'll move to font to change the font the font we'll be using for this is I'll say Nika Trier Extra Brood the name of the font we were putting in the video description so this is the font we'll be using for this we increase the size a little bit then place it here the next thing we are going to copy this then edit it since we are using the same font for this we're going to place it here Let's increase it a little bit so that is just that about that. So the next thing we're going to do is to move on to our sticker 
you move on to sticker then i will going to I'll be extracting a shape from our sticker so these are this is available in our pixel lab app so we don't uh, we don't need importing it anymore since it's, it's available in our pixel lab app. so this particular sticker We're just going to rotate this, then place it here, move to shadow, and the shadow a little bit, the shadow is in black, click on the plus icon, then drag, the, drag this down a little bit, I don't want uh, the shadow to be showing much, so just like that. Then you place it below night. So now we were creating the color for night. So the color will still be white, but we are going to be creating an inner shadow for this. So you just move to inner shadow, enhance it, then select purple. Then you are going to uh, increase the offset. We increase the offset X a little bit. Offset y to increase it a little bit like this just as 6 6 the same thing goes for this select purple then increase the offset for this and as well the offset for this i hope you can see that so the next thing we'll be doing is to create another test which is music by the music a uh, music by DJ chicken and hype man we'll change the font for this the font for this will be will be casual regular so that is the font we'll be using for this casual regular so we're going to reduce the size for this a little bit then move to color to change the color for this move to color to change the color for this the color will be black for for music by then the color for the rest will be purple so we're going to place it uh, below here then we're going to copy this then edit it again venue the venue where the event will take place so that will be riverside lux riverside luxury hotel So the color for this will be the color for this will be black for Riverside Luxury Hotel. The name of the venue, why the venue, the venue color will be purple. So we just uh, place this below the music above. Uh, so we'll place this here. Then another test, which is free, free entry for all.
So we are going to change the font for this. The font will be quite regular as well. Then we are going to change the color to color purple. Increase, I uh, reduce the size of the text. And then increase the spacing. I'm going to increase the spacing for this. Then bring it below the bring it below the venue here. Just like this. So let's adjust everything. So just like this. So the next thing we'll be doing is to create the date and the ve the date and at uh, the time the program uh, with the event will host. So we have to create this, we have to move to shape, then we have to create a shape for this. The color for this will be purple. Then we move to stroke, we're giving this a stroke so just a uh, give it a, a stroke then we will uh, be placing it here we'll just place it here then we copy this we copy this and, and place it here So we just place this here then we are going to be creating another test prompt move to font to change the font size to change the font so the font will be casual regular for this as well then we are going to reduce the size of the font then place it on the shape here then we are going to be creating another test which is the time when the program or the event will be starting Move to font. The font for this is typo longest regular. The font for this is typo longest regular. So we just make this bold, then increase the size a little bit and place it on top of the shape here. We copy this to create uh, the date. The date will be 31st of December 2023. So this is the date. So we are going to move to line spacing to reduce the spacing between this test. The next thing we are going to move to align align then use the center alignment and reduce the size of the test 
then we'll be placing it here you just copy this prompt and then edit it into this So this is just how I design this uh, ladies night flyer using my smartphone so if you want to go for if you want to make this design if you want to make it to look more beautiful pop you can just move to your snapseed to enhance your design and uh, after enhancing it with your snapseed app you can move to your lightroom to give it further editing so this is just how you i design this uh ladies night flyer please if you find the video helpful you'll find it inspiring do it to like comment and subscribe on the channel and as well share it with uh your call uh, with um other graphics designer friends so that they can also learn from this video thanks for watching